Happy beautiful snowy Utah Tuesday everybody. First off today, Annie ran out of dog food. We gotta go get dog food or she's gonna die. Second off, I filled up my external hard drive. It's completely full and I like to save all my footage. So I need another external hard drive. Third off, at four o'clock, we're meeting up with an arborist in Liberty Park and we're gonna see if he can't get the drone out of the tree. That is the plan for the day. Beautiful camping spot here last night on this little Squaw Peak Road. Yeah, this is Squaw Peak Road, don't you know? Right off of Highway 189. Actually got down to the mid 20s last night and Annie and I did great. She usually sleeps on my right side. She's my little heater and uh, it's pretty nice. Load up. Good girl. Nope, oh, that's for cats. We just got to Liberty Park a little bit early so that I could play around with Annie for a little bit. I think I should probably walk down there right now and make sure that's actually still there. There was a snowstorm since the last time I checked, so who knows if it's actually gonna be there. Do you think it's still there even after the snowstorm? Huh? Even after the snowstorm, huh? Better grab my zoom lens. I love this lens, so cool, 55 to 50. Well, she's still up there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. 10 days through snowstorms, multiple, I think there's two snowstorms. Rain, wind, freezing cold temperatures. Andy, can you believe it? The drone is still up there. <laughs> she just wants to play. About 30 minutes until he shows up. We'll see what happens. Pretty cool to see how he can work up that tree. <laughs> how he can shimmy up that tree if he does. Be pretty cool. All right, I'm not making any promises. <laughs> Try my best. Where is it? I appreciate it. It's all the way at the top of this cottonwood. Dakota. Dakota? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, nine years. Nine years, wow. What got you into it? Um, I'm just kind of... Were you a rock climber before or anything no, like that? No, no. I actually, like, before I started doing this, I didn't even know it was a thing. Up until 10 days ago, I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah, like, you're like, wait, people do that? When I was flying it through here, it uh, lost signal, even though it's only about 50 meters away. I just watched it fly into the tree and I couldn't do anything. So. It just stuck itself. Yep. Ten long, gruesome days Through snowstorms, rain and wind, the drone prevailed Now, the ultimate rescue One man One drone. Ninety feet separates them. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Holy cow. What am I dead? It's gotta be getting cold up there. It's cold down here. Oh, it feels great, honestly. <laughs> Good work, man. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Word up, dude. 
Nice. Well, there she is. Wow. Yeah, we'll find out. Before I even try turning it on, I'm just gonna, I don't yeah. know, put it in rice or something. Yeah. All right, Dakota. Hell yeah, brother. Awesome work, man. Thank yeah, you so much. For sure, dude. I'll catch you soon. Yeah, take care, man. We got the drone back. I'm super pumped. Gonna throw in some rice probably for like a week, see if it actually works. But a huge shout out, I mean a huge shout out to Dakota, the owner of Urban Oaks Professional Tree Service. Really good reviews on Google. He's a great guy. I'm gonna throw him a great review as well. He started up this business two years ago. He's came a long way. He's really known in the area now. Two years ago he had one truck and he was working for someone else and now he's the owner of his own business, doing really well for himself has five trucks. It's pretty cool to see what you can do when you put time and effort into something that you're passionate about. He also has a YouTube channel. I think you guys would get a huge kick out of it. It's Treesus Bartleby. Go check it out. I think you'll get a good laugh. Dakota, once again, thank you so much. I also have two more big thank yous tonight, and that is to my two newest Patreon pledges, Thomas Roper and Matthew Parham. Thomas and Matthew, thank you guys so much for keeping this journey alive. Really appreciate it, guys. All right, everybody. Thank you, as always, for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow.